If you're tired of juggling schedules and team assignments, well today we're gonna to be talking about Jobber's scheduling feature on the desktop version and just show you how powerful it is for home service providers. So basically you get a central hub that's integrated into the rest of the Jobber features. So you can do a lot of different things right from the scheduling dashboard. You can assign work, see your team's availability, and what's great is that everything is color coded so visually it's very appealing and easy to wrap your head around. So if you're ready to start scheduling in a more efficient way, let's dive in. All right, so when we first log into Jobber, we're gonna go over to this navigation pane and click our schedule. So what's great about Jobber scheduling is it's very interactive. You can manage a lot of things right from this scheduling tab. It's color coded so it's very visually appealing as you can see here, but with the scheduling feature, you can create multiple items. So you can either click onto a, a day here or you can click more actions, but you can create a new job. Those are green with a little hammer icon. You can create a new request. Those are in bronze. You can create an internal task, like if you need to pick up supplies and you can assign an employee to do that. Or you can create a company-wide event if you have like you know, a company barbecue on a Friday, you can do that. And then also you have visits. Those are in green as well. Jobs are, are made up of visits. You can have multiple visits for a job as well as a, a new request. If you need to go out and do a site visit, assess the job, you can create a visit for new requests. So we'll kind of click through some of these items here. So these are jobs. You can mark them as complete. And what that will do is it'll also show on the calendar an invoice reminder like you can see here. This one has been marked complete and it'll show an invoice reminder on your calendar so that you remember to invoice that client. And then right from the this job card, you can edit it and view some details and do what you need to do. So it's very interactive, allows you to navigate things very quickly. Now requests or jobs that are unassigned It'll have this little icon here. So if you need to like assign a job, you can do that right from here. Click assign. And again, just edit more details as well as you can drag jobs and, and different items around on the calendar. If something needs to be unscheduled, you can just drag it over to this drawer and it'll become unscheduled. So the next thing I wanna cover are the various views that you have. So right now we're, we're in the month view. We have a week view. So the month and the week view are really kind of bird's eye view level of all of the jobs that you have. So you can kind of visualize your workload ahead and just get a sense of what's going on. Then you have your day view and it's broken up by employee. So you can see who's gonna be doing what at the day level. Then we have our map view. And this is a really powerful way to see your team in the field, see where everyone is at, and also to set up route optimization. So you can see these arrows here. So if you have jobs that don't have a fixed start time, they start at any time throughout the day. You have this route optimization feature that will show you the best path, the most efficient path in the field to take to go from the first job to the second job to the third job and just really increases efficiency. You can even set up integrations with Fleet Sharp and force fleet tracking to get real-time GPS tracking of your trucks in the field. Then we have our list view. This is a good view just to visualize text-based cards to see, you know, unscheduled times, jobs that aren't don't have a fixed time and need to be scheduled, your upcoming appointments this week, as well as seeing your completed jobs for the day. Another great thing regarding your team is that you can set up automatic team reminders to be sent out to each one of your team members so they know exactly where, where to be at what time. Another great feature and just as really a must for home service businesses is to set up online booking. And then from there, you can have clients choose actual time slots based on your team's real-time availability. So those jobs and requests will show up on your calendar without you having to lift it finger. So again, just a great way to streamline the process, integrate multiple features so that you can focus on growing your business. Additionally, you can set up customizable scheduling permissions for team members. So that way you ensure team members only have access to the necessary information that they need. Jobber also allows you to import jobs from like an external calendar or a CSV file. So maybe you're migrating from a different field service software and you want to get all of your current jobs into the system, they make that really easy to do so. So you click more actions, import jobs. 
Also, you can sync your calendar with other external calendars like your Google Calendar, iCal, so you can integrate your Jobber calendar with the other tools that you use to manage your day. So next, I want to discuss Jobber's new scheduling feature. So this is available in Jobber Labs within the main Jobber platform, but you have to turn it on. Jobber Labs is like their experimental platform where they allow you to test future features that they're planning to roll out later on. So to do that, you'll see this button up here, try the new schedule. So we'll go ahead and click that and then we want to turn it on. Now you can turn this off at any time uh, by clicking this again and, and toggling this off. But we'll walk through some of these new features that make uh, Jobber scheduling even more powerful. So the new scheduling tool in Jobber brings a lot of enhancements um, as well as just kind of a different layout for the scheduling tool. So up at the top we can see our views and just kind of quickly switch between them instead of that drop down. What's great is you have this day view and you can toggle on and off the map view on the right hand side so you can pair that with your employees day schedules to see side by side for each employee what their lineup for the day looks like and then their kind of route optimization in the field on the right hand side. You can also turn this pane on to toggle on unscheduled appointments and also too you have this ability to hide weekends. You can just show Monday through Friday if you prefer that. Also a, a, a visual distinction with this new layout is that the times that you're not working is grayed out. Your business hours show in white. So just kind of a clearer visual distinction between your working hours and the hours that you're not working. And then we have our filters up at the top left now. So we can filter by status or by team members. And then finally, one of the best new features is this find a time feature. And this allows you to find an available time slot in your current uh, calendar based on your team's availability. So it just saves a lot of headache manually finding availability on your own. So hopefully this gave you a good overview of how to use the Jobber scheduling feature and just how powerful and integrated with the rest of the software. So if you're interested in Jobber, I have a 14 day free trial that you can check out on your own. I get a little bit of kickback from that if you use my link to sign up. So that's down in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.